was great seeing Pilar back at the ballpark tonight. Took the lineup cards out and uh, got a nice ovation from the fans here in Atlanta as well. And Tucker Davidson, Jeff, makes his first big league start for the Braves tonight. Yeah, lefty. You see, ranked the Braves' eighth best prospect, 25 years old, 2 and 0 with .64 and two starts in Gwinnett. He's going to fastball mid 90s, good curve, good slider. As Davidson fields his position well, throws a low. Throw to Frey, a sinker, and the Braves' Gold Glove first baseman saves a throwing error. Yeah, Freddie should admire that one. That was a long hop and a heck of a play. <laughs> Two outs. He's the only one drafted from that school to make the big leagues. Check swing, the appeal, he went. Strike three, good slider. And a one-two-three top of the first inning for Tucker Davidson. Let's see if Miguel Castro can keep him down for the first inning or two. And the Mets always have trouble keeping those uh, trio or quartet of uh, hitters down that badly. Toyota numbers for Castro has been outstanding. This is his second opener start. Also started two times when he was in a Baltimore Oriole uniform. And the slider in for a call third strike and Acuna knew it. And Castro's got a strike out to start his night. Hunter's 0 for 4 in a big league career. First pitch Tommy Hunter swings and lines a base hit to left. Well, that's how you do it. Get up there and hack away. Tommy Hunter looked like Deion Sanders going up the first baseline. And I think this must be his first major league hit because he's calling for the baseball. He's been around forever. Is this really his first major league hit? And he was only 0 for 4 coming into this season. Give me the ball. I want the ball. 34 years old, and he finally gets his first <laughs> big league hit. And you bet you he's going to save the ball. Jonathan VR grounded out to short his first time up. I'd love to see Hunter speed around the bases on a ball in the gap. Mm. That's driven in the air to left center field pretty deep. That goes Ozuna, looks up, and it's out of here. Jonathan VR with a two run homer. Third home run of the season. Hunter gets to score a run, and VR with his third home run gives the Mets a 2 0 lead. Third home run, first as a right hand batter, and Hunter does get to circle the bases. Well, fastball right down the middle. VR knew as soon as he made contact, it was gone. The back foot was in the air when he made contact with that home run. And the Mets bench and Hunter and everyone, for whatever reason, are just so, I don't know, they're, they're inspired. or The what he's done, Lindor, the start he got off to. I mean, look, that's sometimes equals somebody's job, unfortunately. 0 2 pitch. Strike three paints a corner at 95 on the black, and Alonzo couldn't believe that. So, four strikeouts for Tucker Davidson. He's pitching a good ball game. He's made one mistake, and it's cost him two runs. That's a great pitch. A one pitch. Shot out to short, backhand stop, deep in the hole by Dansby. Pops up, and a bullet over to first base. Beautiful play by Dansby Swanson to Rob Tomas Nito. I'm not sure, Ben, but I think he was already going into that pop-up slide before he ever caught the ball. And a good throw over to Freddie. So now runner in scoring position with nobody out. One and one count to Ozuna. And another breaking ball hit up the middle. Peraza's got it. Now they got Freeman in a rundown. Hmm. Peraza looking around. Now Gazelman finally puts on the tag, and Ozuna got to second base. So Freeman did a good job staying on the rundown long enough so that Ozuna could get the extra base and replace him at second. You know every runner knows that the balls hit to your left you go but in today's shift game that is not always the case but Freeman makes up for it here by making sure he's waving Ozuna to make sure he takes second base then gives himself up when he knows the play is dead. Pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good sinking, 95 mile an hour fastball from Gesellman that Swanson couldn't catch up to. And the inning is over. No runs, no hits. One left. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Mitts, well, they're going to the fifth inning now. Mitts late 2 0. So VR is the hitting villain for New York. A two run homer is the only offense in the game. And this one is popped into shallow center. Dansby on the run. Ozzy's there and got undercut. And the catch is made. Who's got it? Is it Dansby? Is it Ozzy? I can't tell. I think Ozzy. No. Who does have it? I mean, you got two guys going after the ball, and that's not one of those that you really can call because you're both running so fast. What a job by Dansby to have his eye on it. You see Ozzy at the last second. I think they look, they both would have caught it. 
So Gaselman had to run the bases for a while. Let's see if that affects him against Austin Riley, who bounced out in his lone trip. Swing and a shot hammered toward right center field. That ball is gone. Line drive home run for Austin Riley. Jeff, he's starting to figure it out. We were wondering if that power surge was going to come. He got comfortable, and now you're seeing him take aggressive, confident swings. And not only that, right center field. That ball was hit on in line. The wind did nothing to that ball. That ball's out no matter what. And you can tell it's a kid that's getting confident, more confident every day. Well, Tucker Davidson with a crisis to manage here. First and third, nobody out. Pete Alonzo's 0 for 2. Two and two to Alonzo. Now the pitch. Swing on a fly ball. Hits a pretty deep center. Should score a run. Aradia back. Makes the catch. Lindor tags at third. He'll come home to score as the throw goes to second. The Braves did clip him last night. Let's see if they can do it again. They trail by two again. Freddie is grounded out and walked. Swing and a fly ball. Hammered straight away center. That one is into Chattahoochee Falls. Oh, what an at-bat for Freddie Freeman. Another Atlanta missile, and they get that run back. That might have been the hardest ball Freddie's hit all year. That was into the second level of Chattahoochee Falls. Yes. Perfect field goal between those two evergreen trees. Yeah. So it's a 3-2 game now. Riley has homered each of the last two nights, and now Freeman. Those are all the runs the Braves have scored in this series. And Albies lofts one out to right center. Over in the gap goes Lee, diving, and he made the catch! Khalil Lee, welcome to the New York Mets. A brilliant diving catch by Khalil Lee to rob Ozzy Albies of extra bases. Well, you can't teach speed, and Khalil Lee has that. There's a lot of options for loop here with an even count. And it's stroked into left center field, a base hit. He got a cutter. Adrianzo around first. He's thinking about two. The Fargus throw is going to be in. Not a time. He got in. Oh, I was waiting for Jim Wolf to ring him up. But Adrianzo got in ahead of the throw, and he called him safe. 1-1. One, one. Grounds one on the right side. Grabbed by Lindor. He makes the tag, makes the toss. Double play. Francisco Lindor playing in the shift. There was no way he could throw the ball to second. There was nobody there. So he had to go for the tag on Acuna. Got him and threw out Freeman for the double play. Ozuna, the final hope of the inning. First and second, nobody out. Now runner at third, two outs, and down a run. Familia ready. The pitch. Broke it bad, and Ozuna comes through to tie it up. The barrel of the bat ends up behind home. Marcel Ham was the bad handle. And the Braves get a huge pick me up game tying run. We're 3 3. And then after the hit, he tossed what he had left in the air. 1 1 count. Gets absolutely blown up. So two out of nobody on. Now Tomas Nito. And Nito mm. smacks one in the air to deep left center. Back goes Ozuna onto the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Take the lead in the ninth on a Tomas Nito home run. Nito left in the lineup because he's hot with the bat and he delivers a huge home run with two out in the top of the ninth, his second home run of the season, and the Mets lead it four to three. Uh, the Irregulars keep producing. First time this season for Edwin Diaz pitching a third straight day. Again, the one two to Swanson. And he struck him out. He said, I'll work four days in a row, I don't care. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. And he pops one up into center field. Fargus is there, and the ball game is over. Diaz pitching a third straight day, throws a 1 2 3 ninth. Tomas Nito with the go ahead home run in the top of the inning, and the Mets with back to back unlikely wins.